Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and now we're going to go over five things that I love about my Shelby GT350, but let's just get right into the video. The first thing that I love about the Shelby GT350, and the thing that I love about it the most, and what most owners love, is the exhaust. This is one of the best, if not the best sounding exhausts, um, you know, from the manufacturer that you can get. It just, I mean, you just, I'll throw on some clips, obviously, right here so that you can see what I'm talking about. absolutely phenomenal I mean it's just there's nothing else out there like it and I feel kind of spoiled now because every single time I hear exhaust systems from other cars and this and that it's just I always come back to this because it just sounds so good opening up the garage and letting the cold in for just a second so that I can show this to you but yeah you can see there's the quad tip exhaust on it and that's part of the reason why the exhaust system is so loud is because of those quad tips you can let extra air go out and all that but yeah I mean it just sounds so fantastic the second thing that I love the most about this car is actually the handling and I'm not really gonna be able to demonstrate that um, today all that much just because of how cold it is outside these tires are horrible absolutely horrible when it's cold outside but you know once you get up to 60 70 degrees or more they just stick and this thing you can just throw it around corners and it just sticks. I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal how well this car handles. And so that's definitely one thing that I love about it. So obviously a big part of the handling of the car is gonna be the tires. In the 350s, you are 295s up front and your 305s in the rear. So you've got a lot of rubber to hang on to. You've got the little spoiler in the back that adds a little bit of extra downforce, not as much as the R spec. Rear diffuser as well, the side skirts that add downforce. And then you have the front splitter. And then this has the Magnaride suspension on it. And so it's constantly scanning the road and adjusting the suspension so that it basically has no body roll. And so then it gives you a lot of confidence when you're going into corners. Even though this car weighs, you know, about 3,700 pounds, it corners and it's so much, it feels so much more nimble than that. And so that's definitely, you know, right next to the exhaust and the sound. That is the second thing that I love about this car. The third thing that I love about the car is the styling. Obviously, you know, being a car person, you don't just get a car that's functional. You also kind of have to love how it looks. And I absolutely love how this car looks. So I'll kind of go over some of the key points and things that I love about it. So first to start off in terms of the aesthetics, obviously it's got a little bit of a longer hood, which makes it more aesthetically appealing with the shorter um, fastback design in the back. I love the vent up top and then you have the vents right there as well. It just adds to the overall aggressive appeal. Probably one of my favorite angles from this car is you know the front angle and it's just because you can see all of the air the flow that you can go you can go through there just how open the front is it just looks absolutely aggressive and super menacing and i've always i've always loved the uh, mustang headlights and all that obviously the cobra emblem and then the front splitter kind of brings it all together but it just looks so aggressive and menacing from the front and then the racing stripes are a nice part of that side skirts obviously and then out back just the overall look obviously you get the rear diffuser and all that back there I, i've always loved the mustang tail lamps and the spoiler just adds a nice look to it and then obviously the sleek fastback design how it's kind of shorter in the back and a little bit longer in the front just kind of overall makes it look a lot more aesthetically appealing and just a couple of lines but yeah i absolutely love the looks on this car the fourth thing that i love about the shelby gt350 is actually one of the things that I said that I hated, and that was some of the interior materials and some of the features kind of 
on the interior overall. Popping into the interior, I actually, so I, in the other video I said that I hated the outside of the seats. I love the inside of the seats, how they feel. I love how the seats look overall. They just look really awesome. And then I absolutely love the Alcantara steering wheel. It feels great in your hands, it always sticks. And then obviously the Cobra emblem in the center. I've always loved the red push start button and then how they have these little switches here. Manual transmission just looks sweet in the center. Um, overall, they've, I mean, it's not necessarily the nicest materials on the inside, but the design on the inside is pretty nice. They've kind of made it all come together. And so it looks, it looks great. And there's just certain materials, especially that Alcantara that I just absolutely love in a car like this. The last thing that I love about the Shelby GT350 is the overall drivability. The fact that you can drive this pretty much every single day, even, you know, if you wanted to, even if you live in a climate like I do where it snows and all that, if you throw snow tires in the back, which I'm never going to do, I'll just drive my truck instead. But let's just say this is your only car. You actually could drive it every single day. Part of one of the features that I said that I hated, would, which actually helps so that you can drive the car every single day is that active suspension system and then the active exhaust system. So we will start it up again quickly. I'm gonna shut the door so you can hear me a little bit better while I go over this. So you can see you have all the different drive modes. You have your normal mode, but then you have a weather mode, for example, so that if you're in a little bit trickier weather, then you can drive it like that, track mode, drag mode, all that. But it's just nice that it gives you all these modes because if this was your only car, you could drive it every single day. You put the suspension to the soft setting and you put it, you know, maybe in normal mode if you don't want to hear the exhaust, which I don't know why you'd ever not want to hear the exhaust, but you could do that. And this could just be a really comfortable daily driver. And obviously it has the rear seats back there, which are pretty much non-existent, but you can fold them down. Like I have them folded down, use the trunk as extra storage and all that. But I mean, you could put little kids back there, but yeah, it's nice that you could drive this, you know, pretty much every single day. And there we have it, everyone. Five things that I absolutely love about the Shelby GT350. Thank you again so much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe and I'll see all of you in that next video.